Today is March uh, 22nd. Um, I had the second lesson today. Uh, we had one yesterday. Up, um, didn't have a chance to upload his video uh, on time to have him review it before practice today. But we went ahead and reviewed. Uh, I went ahead and reviewed with him what uh, was what we worked on yesterday at the very beginning, very quickly. He was able to retain everything pretty good. And um, what primarily worked on today was continuous motion, athletic position. Abbott forgets athletic position all the time, doesn't stick his backside out and, uh, and and bend his knees correctly every single time. It's a little, that's still a little bit of just, he's not used to it right now. His, his body is usually just standing up <coughs> and using the, the easiest, uh, laziest uh, position. Not necessarily lazy, just like he's a kid and that's kids, you know, it's not... It's not natural for them to just always be like hyper ready for stuff, and that's so we that's something that he's going to have to learn. Um, worked on high bouncing forehands uh, to uh, slow down his continuous motion, see if he could have a very slow continuous motion from position one to two, and he was able to regulate the speed, so this is a good sign. Um, stances, he does come around okay on, on, on shot, he shuffles okay to uh, balls that are in front of him. Uh, backhand side, um, we went ahead, we were able to hand feed him from the service line and then go back to the baseline. And he is able to, to get uh, to the, the first V position without the left elbow popping up too much, but it's at a broken motion right now. Um, his uh, um, contact point, I'm not, not too sure about that right now. His uh, doesn't really make the triangle, he makes the triangle with both arms straight. Also, too, in some of the positions on the forehand, especially on the backhand, he hyperextends his elbows um, too straight. And so went ahead and told him, made a point to say, whenever I tell you you're hyperextending, that means that your elbows are, are your, your arms are way too straight or your elbows are in this position. You need to put a little bend in it. He remembered that very quickly. He was able to do that good. Um, continuous motion on the backhand side was actually pretty good. Didn't hit, didn't go through the entire basket today. A lot of emphasis on just him trying to get trying to have him understand what's expected for him again. He's slowly getting it. He, you know, um, he um, he will lose focus, and I mean, was giving him pushes for for losing focus for uh, for, for and, but he was able to notice that he would lose focus at certain points. So that's something that's going to probably be an ongoing. Um, ongoing effort just to get him to like not be distracted easily i i, I just i think he's just his uh his just his uh his nature his personality sort of is like he's just he's a very intelligent kid so he is easily distracted i think or his mind is going or is it going is there stuff going on in here is there stuff going on yes yes <laughs> all right anything else now anything else um i got a new racket Okay. Oh yes, this racket. Okay, so this is uh, it's it's a it's just a, a very basic entry level racket. Now this racket is probably not the racket we want him to go ahead and use, but he was able to handle the weight and the size of the racket. So, but this is a 27 inch. I think I want him to go ahead and shift down to a 26 inch. Um, we can go ahead and hold off on that for maybe about a month. See how you do. Definitely, you're not going to use a 25 inch anymore that you were using. That racket is way too small, way too little. It's absolutely there's no point for you to use it anymore, right? You can go ahead and give that one away, right? All right. Anything else? Um, no. No. That's it. All right. So we'll see you next time.